We've been on the research vessel Kuliak for two months this past fall and looking at how the reduction in sea ice, which has been really dramatic in the last decade or so, is affecting the rest of the system. And one of the key things that we're seeing is that the waves are getting bigger, the waves in the ocean are getting bigger. So if there's less sea ice, there's more space for the waves to form. And now they're building to be 15 feet tall, 20 feet tall, in a place where they would usually be one or two feet tall. It's not just the waves, it's also the temperatures. It's getting warmer, and a lot of the coastline is made of permafrost, so the coastlines are melting in addition to eroding. Get these on and get some deck boots on. One of the events that we were sampling was a big storm that came through, made these big waves, and there was lots of sea ice around that had just newly formed, and the waves rolled through, and they were uh, affecting the sea ice, breaking up the sea ice, and then eventually that sea ice melted, and then started to reform again. This is called pancake ice. If they're big, long waves, then you get big, long pancakes. And if they're short, little waves, you get small, little pancakes. Going into the field and, and being there is a big part of trying to build the, uh, the hypothesis for the next thing that we're trying to do, trying to understand how does this system work and what's going to happen in the future. I think this research is in, essential to understand what's happening in the Arctic and how fast it's changing. And by trying to understand the physics better, we can build a better model of how it works and we can make a better forecast. And we can understand both in the short term and in the long term, what do we expect is going to happen up there.